Pull out your phone, you little cockroach. Even though you live under the fridge, I know you have a phone, you little roach. Go to the settings, check how much screen time you're averaging per day. Drop it in the comments below, you little roach. I guarantee fucking tea, it's two to three hours. That's two to three hours that you're not making money. That you're not fucking pussy. That you're not living in the real world, going out and making friends and doing fun shit. You're just watching YouTube videos, dude. Of course you're gonna be in the 99%. Why would you be in the 1%? Why? You're doing the same thing as everybody else. You're a cockroach. Stop being a cockroach, dude. Get out from under the fridge, you fuck. Jesus. If you are on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and Snapchat, congrats, bro. You're a fucking Melvin, like 99% of other guys. Shout out to all the cockroaches. Duh. Think about this way, the 1%. Do you think that the 1% are on social media four hours a day? Do you think that the 1% are just waiting for the right moment? And then I'm going to approach the girl and get her number. Do you think the 1% are using dating apps? Do you think the 1% even have TikTok on their fucking phone? No, they don't. You're a cockroach. Stop being a cockroach. Just imagine being on YouTube in the first place and having to look up how to get ahead of 99% of other people. That's you right now, bro. And I don't want you to be like that. So in this video, I'm going to lay out how to actually get ahead of 99% of people. They just get fucking caught on their phone all day uh, that's you right now dude stop just fucking stop bro i'm gonna take care of you okay let me tell you the three ways to get ahead of 99 percent of other people and rather not get left behind like a cockroach under the fridge number one you need to have contrarian ideas this is a great concept from a mark manson video i put it in the description below you should go check it out 99 percent of people have the same idea one percent of people think differently and the second thing is that they have to be right about the way they think. So I'll give you an example. 99% of people, especially you watching right now, bro, think it's weird and hard to go and talk to women in real life. 1% of people don't. And guess what? 1% of guys that don't go out and approach and talk to women in real life. They're funny. They have good social skills. They have charisma. They know how to use their voice and be sexy. Like me. And... They fuck a lot. They, on average, are banging a couple girls a week, or they get a girlfriend or a rotation or whatever, and they consistently have sex a couple days a week. Don't you wish that you could be having sex that much? Sex increases your testosterone. It increases your dopamine, serotonin. It makes you feel good. It makes you feel loved. It's a good measuring stick to show whether or not you're successful in life, because if you're unsuccessful, you're not having any sex. You're a cockroach. If you have sex, it prevents AIDS. Dude, if you have sex, you live longer. People want to hang out with you more. Your energy level goes up. You just feel great about life because you are fulfilling your mission. All these self-improvement YouTubers that are like, oh, like, you shouldn't have sex. Shut up, bro. You're a virgin. You know what I love? Guys that don't fuck telling other people, yeah, like, you shouldn't have sex. You should worry about your purpose. Dude, worry about your purpose while you fuck. Purpose is fucking and then doing what you want afterwards. Until you have sex, you don't even know what your purpose is because your lizard brain is just so hyper-focused on sex. Once you have sex, you realize that it's not about that. You have post-nut clarity, which is when you're like, hey, you know what? Ah, just busted a fat nut. Let me work on the cure to cancer now. Let me go hang out with some friends. Let me go on a hike. Let me get back to my engineering job. In order to actually be able to work on yourself, you need to solve this problem. And 99% of you haven't, which is why you're on YouTube watching this video. And the third reason you're unsuccessful is because you lack execution. You don't actually do what you fucking need to. How many times do I need to show you a video of me approaching and talking to girls before you finally leave your fucking room, bro? How many more times, okay? There's a reason my clients get amazing results. Because instead of constantly searching on YouTube like fucking idiots, scrolling, oh, this video says that. There's a whole course, step by step, shows videos of me approaching girls in real life, breaking it down. And it's not a fucking no fap video. I know you guys love these videos like, oh my God, no fap tip number 32. Dude, no fap. Shut the fuck up. I fap all the time, but I also fuck. And if I didn't fuck, I wouldn't fap because the point of life is to fuck. And if you're not fucking, then you ain't living, bro. I'm sorry. Basically, your brain has this biological urge to have sex and spread seed. Fuck. And when you jerk off, it lowers that urge. It satisfies that urge. 
but then you don't accomplish anything because in order to have sex in real life, you need to improve. Women aren't just willing to have sex with you if you haven't accomplished anything, if you don't work on yourself, if you don't have social skills, if you're not funny, if you don't even have the balls and courage to talk to them in real life. But if you just touch your little hog and you're just like, all of a sudden you're like, oh, I don't have to do anything now. Well done, bro. You just tricked your brain, but you're still a fucking idiot. Bro, I've literally made a fucking course. Why do you still have girl problems? Why are you still here? This video isn't even just about having sex. It's about everything in life. What's the big meta online right now? Social media marketing agency. Copywriting. 99% of people are doing that right now. And guess what? You're doing it too. Therefore, you're part of the 99%. What you need to do is think outside the box. You need to disagree with what everybody else is doing. Everybody else is on dating apps. Everybody else is on Instagram and TikTok and Reddit and YouTube comment section. That's 99% of people. What are the 1% doing? They're not on social media. They watch a YouTube video here and there. They're in the gym. They're making money. They're approaching women in real life. They're fucking laying down some pipe and they're living in the real world with real people. They're not basing their entire identity on an online fucking community complaining about how bad the housing market is. Oh, it's a recession. Oh, oh, you need this much money. Well, why don't you do something about it, bro? What good does it do to complain online all day? You're fucking useless, man. And I say this out of love. I'm speaking to you because this is what I was like when I was younger. I used to be a fucking idiot. Look at me. Look at that picture. You think that guy fucked? He fucked his hand, bro. He fucked his hand. He fucked Pamela Henderson, bro. That's who he <laughs> fucked. Pathetic. Just like you. Fapping all day. Dude, come on. How many more fap videos are you going to watch after this? Is this on your playlist? What's the suggested feed right now? Look to the side there. You see all those other videos? Like, oh, like, oh, three secrets about no... Dude, fuck. Just take your head and put it in the fridge, okay? Don't close the door on it, but just stick your head, put it in the freezer, and then just like feel that cold air on your head and just think to yourself... Why am I such a cockroach? Why? Every day I wake up and choose to be a cockroach. Why? I don't get it. I don't know why 99% of you guys want to be cockroaches. Are you a part of 99%? I'm going to go out on a limb here and say, yeah, you fucking are, dude, because you're on YouTube right now watching a video about not being part of the 99%. But hey, who knows? Maybe you are a one percenter. Stop watching videos on how to be one percent. This should be the last video that has 99% or 1% in the fucking title that you ever watch. Alright Jack, what are we doing? So right now we are flying to the top of a mountain. We're gonna go and stand on top of a glacier. 